Lake Kachuma, Southern California, Santa Barbara County. I'm Johnny Rod. I told you our next episode would be on the water. And today, I'm going to teach you how to fish with probably the best bait you can use, the most effective way to get it. You can see. Alright? So, this is sort of a fishing te technique, casting technique basic 101 all right the rig I'm using is what I showed you in the prior one Carolina rig all right got the weight that move slides right hopefully you guys can hear me because it's a little breezy today all right so that move that's that slides then I got my hook and I'm gonna use night crawlers today I'm actually trying to catch a bluegill I already caught some bass today but for this exercise I'm gonna try to catch some bluegill so we're gonna use a night crawler and your night crawlers have to stay cold have to. If you leave these out in the sun, they'll die in an hour. And they're no good dead. They don't work at all dead. Alright. So I'm using a number 8 hook today. Because these bluegill have a little smaller mouth. I want a little smaller hook. I use a number 8. Alright, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's a pretty tiny hook. This is how you hook a night crawler. sides to him. He has a pointy side and he has a more flat side called the spade side. And he has this hard, you'll see these hard little uh, spots on the front of him. All right, but this is his head. His head's darker. His tail's uh, uh, flatter and lighter. All right, so just one time through the head, through that little meaty area, and that's all you got to do. So all you got to do to hook a night crawler. All right, and now your rig's ready to go. Your Carolina rig with a night crawler. Got it? All right, now I'm gonna cast out. Now all I'm gonna do is drag this thing along the bottom. All right, and when you cast out, watch the line. The line's gonna go down, and all of a sudden it's gonna go slack. That's how you know you hit the bottom. So maybe this will, you'll be able to see this in this in this uh, video. All right, so remember the bail? Here's the bail. Oh, grab the line, bail up, grab the line, open the bail. bottom one on top and when you go forward you release your hand you release your, your your finger okay forward release all right now watch the line if I can do this it'll go slack I don't know if you can see the line but it's gonna go slack here in a second watch the line. one two three Ooh, see that it hit bottom right there hopefully you can see that now what you do is you just drag this thing slowly. And what you're waiting, you're going to feel rocks down there. You're going to feel sticks down there. You're going to feel all sorts of things down there. You know it's a bite when you're holding still and you feel the tick on your line. But if you're dragging it, right, and I feel bump, bump, bump. Well, those are the rocks or the sticks. Bump, bump, bump. No, I've got a stick now. I hung up already. There's a lot of brush in this. frustrating. I'll be right back. Make a different cast next time. Alright. We're back. Incidentally, I told you about the hooks I use that I like a lot. This is them. They're called Gamagatsu. Okay? Or owner hooks. These are owner hooks. These make very good, sharp, you don't have to set the hook real hard on fish. All right, so get yourself some gummies or some owners. All right, let's try this again. I got my 
rig set back up. Trust Carolina rig, sliding edge sinker, egg sinker, swivel, and a hook. Get myself a night crawler out. Slammy. A slammy crawler. Back in the cold. One time through his head. well you can see that you know this is not the best time to be fishing it's dead center of the day the sun's straight overhead fish don't tend to like uh, eating or doing whatever they do to sustain themselves in the middle of the day morning and evening are always the best times to go fishing all right so remember that I'm here in the middle of the day and I'm shooting a video with the sun straight overhead so who knows how good this is gonna turn out nothing ventured nothing gained all right Ready to go. I always kind of wiggle my my uh, rod tip a little bit, and I always check to see that it's making my I can feel the weight on my finger because sometimes it'll be twisted around the around the tip, and this won't move at all. I won't feel it here. So that's something to remember as you go forward. Like when you're getting ready to cast, make sure you feel the weight of your rig at your finger. All right. Otherwise, if there's no weight, it's tangled around your tip. All right. All right. Bail open hands release on the forward this time I'm gonna go out that way a little bit hopefully there ain't no bush out there all right watch the line watch the line go slack see it go slack right there it's on the bottom that's how you know you're on the bottom all right now you start dragging it now I was saying oh I got one already watch this I got a fish just like that hit that right when it hit the ground all right now when you fight a fish oh it's a bass when you fight a fish you always want to have max pressure on him okay max band and always use your reel In his mouth, because right on the side of him, take it out, ladies and gentlemen. That's a largemouth bass. That was fun. I didn't even move the worm, he saw that worm fall. They have good eyesight, they live in the water. He saw that worm falling and he grabbed it right away. That was fun. It's uh, May May 28th in California. And I gotta tell you, if you're gonna go bass fishing, you wanna go bass fishing in April, May. March, April, May, depending upon where you live. But April and May, oh boy. I've caught eight bass already today. And now it's nine. Let's try that again. So he started running with it. As soon as it hit the bottom, he took off and I felt him go. All right, so you always gotta pay attention to where, what your line's doing too, all right? If it's starting to move, and only one way it can move without you reeling, the fish has got it, right? All right, I told you, these things are golden. These night crawlers, you'll catch catfish, trout, bluegill, bass. I don't think crappie like uh, night crawlers very much. All right, let's do this again. Three. Right through his head, one time. That's all you gotta do, all right? Two-handed cast. Pull some drag out. You don't wanna cast with it all the way up here generally, all right? You wanna let a little out so it dangles a little, so the weight dangles a little, all right? Grab the line, open the bale. Oh no, I cast a night crawler off. So, great at staying on the hook. I literally just cast them off my hook because I cast too hard. I'm not a lefty, so I don't have the same uh, finesse I do as I do with my right hand, so I'm going to have to switch to my right hand. The bush right here has it on my back cast, so you always got to kind of look behind you when you cast too because you get snagged in back you. It's 
especially if there's people in back. If you're on a boat, be very careful about your backswing. All right? Extremely important. Try this again. Which side's his head? There's his head. It's dark purple. All right? You can see it's lighter on the bottom. One time through his noggin, ready to go. I'm going to move down just a little bit so I can get away from this thing. I'm a righty. Got too much line out. It can be a little gentler this way. Okay. Now I'm back out there. Watch it fall. Watch the slack in the line. Boom. See it hit bottom? Alright, let's try this again for now. Maybe I won't get a snag and a fish. I can show you how to do this. part when you're reeling you're gonna feel all the rocks you see all the rocks on the shore well those rocks down there too and it goes tick 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 on your line as you're pulling but if I'm just sitting here obviously it's not gonna go tick 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 so if you feel tick 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 while you're just sitting here that's a fish and that's the difference you know if, if the wind's blowing your lure and it's going tick 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 well it gets kind of tough or your, your bait it gets kind of tough to distinguish sometimes uh, between a a stick and a rock and a, and a fish because the wind's blowing it and it's going tick 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 and maybe a fish is hitting it. But right now I'm kind of uh, isolated. Uh, I'm on a shore, not being blown around. I can feel everything. All right? Feel back there. Oh yeah, there's a bush right there. Lost my worm now. So if you ever want to know exactly what it feels like when a fish bites your line, if he just doesn't take off, because that guy that I just caught, he just took off. I didn't even feel him. He just started going with my with my worm in his mouth. Here's what you do. You put the end of your line, put a sinker on it or whatever so you don't hook your friend. Have your friend grab the end of your line, your sinker, tell him to walk 10 feet in front of you, pull your line tight, and then have him flick it gently. Just gently. As long as your line's gotta be tight though, because you can't feel anything with a slack line. The line has always gotta be tight. All the time. Would you notice when I was feeling? You cannot have a bow in your line. Your line has got to be tight. If it's slack, you're not gonna feel anything. So have your friend just go tick, tick. You can I can feel that all the way at the end of my on the rod tip and even some guys grab the line and they can feel it at the line. They just hold their line when they fish like this hold it. Alright? Everything's about getting bit, right? We want to get bit. And that bit, that bite, goes tick, 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 tick. Alright, let's try this again. Wait for it to fall. Watch the line. bottom. All right, now we do the, now we start working it again. Lift up. Feel. My line's tight. Okay, it's not slack. Can't feel anything with slack line. Line's tight. Nothing. Reel down. Drag. There's rocks down there. So if you feel a rock, you can lift your rod tip way high and try to hop it over the rock. There's a lot of rocks right here. Probably a good fishing spot. Feel. Reel down. Reel up. Feel. Reel down. Lift. Feel. Nice and slow. Okay? That's all you gotta do. Uh, I lost my worm again. This is an expensive hobby. Pack of night crawlers is four dollars. Right, I'm, 
do one more. I'm glad I caught a fish because I told you these things are like candy to fish. There's nothing better than the actual uh, fish they eat in the um, in the water. In California, we have a lot of shad. That's really candy. Everything will eat it. All right, one more. I'm gonna make a longer cap. Nice and gentle. Jump that stuff back. Ah. You also don't want anything on your line. Nothing. Not even bush. Nice and clean. your line it'll go it'll be bowed and it'll go Woo. that's how you know you're on the bottom reel in your slack and feel right away okay nothing go down a little bit and drag stop and feel reel down pull up feel feel for a second reel down This lake, I don't know if you can see all those bushes out there, but this lake is full of bushes. Look how hard I'm pulling on this little Berkeley rod. That's how strong these things are. Told you. How hard that. Huh. I got the bush to come off. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. I'm going to lose this one. All right, well. I might have got it out. Lost my hook. And welcome to fishing, folks. That's how it's done. Anyway, that's the lesson for today. Use the Carolina rig with a Gamagatsu hook. Then I showed you the Carolina rig in the last episode. Use these Gamagatsu number eights on this particular trip with the night crawler. And I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you why. See the bush? There's a lot of them. All right, there's a bunch of them in the water right there, there, and then you can see them out of the water over there. But this entire area, we got bushes galore. All right. I'm Johnny Rod. I'm here to help you catch fish. Come to Facebook, I Fish Club. Come to YouTube, I Fish Club. But on Facebook, hit me up. Show me some videos. Ask me some questions. I'll get you started. But I'm telling you, what I just showed you. That's all you gotta do. I showed you how to release. I showed you how to get it all set up, right? You know how to do that. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is as easy as it gets, folks. And you can put anything on the end of the line. If you can't fish it, you can put this dough bait on there. And actually, if you want to try to catch a carp, put a really small hook on there and fish with corn. There's carp everywhere. There's carp all in this lake. I don't usually fish for carp. Um, carp get big too. But they won't eat a nightcrawler, they're not a carnivores, they won't eat fish, they eat, they're vegetarian, so uh, have them, give them a, um, peas and corn, that's what they like. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, next episode, well actually, I have a bass in there that I'm going to clean at the station. I'll videotape a, how to fillet a fish, okay? That's next. Talk to you soon.